And hello, hello everyone, oh, welcome back, Bachmott here, playing more the glorious nation of Rome! Oh, we are glorious. And you know what, I think I should conquer Jolof. So spend a little spy over there. Yeah, that'll be nice. Got a spy up there, that'd be nice, because I've got, I've got a lot of admin points. And I'll be honest, um... I don't want to waste them. So, why waste when you can expand? Hmm? Mm. I may also go down to only five colonies. That seems like it might be a valid technique. Hmm. As would be making the journey overseas. We got lots of options. Um, here as the Roman Empire. Get some good semen. Mm. Yeah. I mean, Bashkir has no allies. I might as well devour them. Right? Right. I should probably move you there. Yes, yes, and get another general, Jovian Robert. Not bad. I've seen far better generals in my time, but yeah, not bad. Our next technology is cannons, which will be tasty. Do you think he knows what's coming? He's a, oh, Craven. Huh. All right. Well, that's a little embarrassing. Yay! Ooh. That's your harbor, eh? Oh, I can't. I can't invest in it for you. You'll have to invest in it yourself. Alright, buddy. I would like uh, to invade you. This yes, should be swift and glorious. Now, I will. I will mention that again. This is using the converter, which means there may be some not so stable elements of things. I will do what I can. Ooh, tales of a fountain. That bring eternal youth to anyone who bathes in its waters or drinks of it have long been known. Hmm. Pay this woman anything they want. Search for the fountain of youth. I think the answer to that is yes. Corrupts is back down to zero. Let's uh, take a loan. And pay that person whatever they want. Whoops. I don't want to take a loan, I wanted to debase my currency. Oh well. Guess we'll just do what we can for the moment. Meanwhile, maybe we'll drop down to, to four or yeah, four colonies instead of five or even six. There we are. Venga, is it worth for conquest? Meh. I am curious to see how um, how the Empire is handling things, because of course they continue to suffer massive unrest, no mercs, less money, lots of damage. And hello. I do want those ideas. I'm going to hold off, though. I'm about to get a um, a new point. Ooh, yearly inflation reduction. I 
There we are. Let's debase the currency. Repay my loans. American East Coast, Caribbean Sea. Alright, and you, Jolof, I can fabricate a claim on you. I guess we'll say Wolof is our target. Meanwhile, our conquistador still having fun out there, exploring the world, seeing the sights. Twenty-five percent, eh? Which is my maximum is twelve hundred. Mm hmm. Oh, I've almost got enough. Then I'll just need the money necessary. Mm, all right. Fine, I suppose. Oh, also, I definitely don't need to have my forts active for this fight. There we are. Oh, we found the Aztecs! Oh, well, not the Aztecs themselves, but you know, they're, they're local peers. Hmm. If it is 30%, I'll buy it then. Which is not too far from. Oh. Whoops! Uh, actually, we'll just do this. Pretty unit. Yeah. Spend the Roman Empire. Hmm, well, that's three points. I'll take it. A little more money and production in Rome. I got a goal of conquering states, which make my states a little cheaper. Also, not a bad prospect. Hmm. I may need to invest in more production options. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna spend some money. There we are. Okay, you gotta spend money to make money. I think I'm gonna go down to three colonies. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go down to three colonies instead. He's a woman, allow her to stay. Oh, hold on. Gift of the state. Oh! Thank you, money! Infra prestige, morale of armies. Jean Beret. Says Beret was a woman, had the natives not shouted it at the top of their lungs. She's got boobs! They shouted very loudly to us. Why not? I see no issue with this. Also, let's grab that. We'll grab that. And we'll grab that. Oh, now we have cannons! Alright, so, I'm gonna make a choice here. Economic, innovative. I'm gonna go with economic, I think. Uh, generating the money that I need to expand things is going to be tricky. So 10% well, more taxes is definitely not a bad idea. Mm. 
Price of copper went up by 50%. Yay! Bronze cannons! Field. It's an interesting picture for the bronze cannon. Alright. It's, oh, it's a miner. Okay, never mind. So for admission. Ooh, I, I want the admin points. Support their war against the beast. And of course, the price of copper going up means my income goes up. The menace. Uh, I yeah, I don't I don't care about. Ooh, Bashkir. You have two little provinces there. Take these two, and just all of your money. And give me more money. There we are. 10% more taxes. That is very useful to us. Yoink! National tax is up 10%. Also, naval ambition, which increased colonial range to 115. Uh, higher colonial range means that my boats can explore farther, too. Yeah. Get out there, buddy. Do some more exploration. There we are. Send that demand. Yoink! So, see, they're making 70 a month. That's not shabby at all. Uh, let's convert them. Dead and arrival. Uh, if you promise to visit. Failure. Oh no! Overly close contact with the natives has caused Ark's worst death. Well, that's a little tragic. Yep, and you're sailing on home. We will honor your sacrifice, of course. Mm. Alright, so wealth is back in the good. Uh, four colonies is probably manageable, so let's go and visit. So I'm not competing for anybody. Recall you. Let's get that Caribbean started. Thirteen. That's solid. Government reform. Almost. Have a little autonomy of sixty-nine. Okay. The little, little autonomy. The faster you gain, more reform points. Ooh. So what do you have right now? Cheaper justified demands. Alright. Let's check the noble privileges. More manpower. Or curtail noble privileges. Gain more money. Hmm. Kind of leaning towards getting more money. But though that will, have, of course, upset uh, the nobility. They will have 10% less influence as an estate. Uh, they got lots of influence though already. So that seems worthwhile to curtail. Uh, we don't not need any more spider rockets on you. Alright, well. Since I can. 2,000 cannon. And we'll grab an idea, I suppose. Um, justify my wars. Yes. The, the justification for our wars is that, of course, as Rome, we should have all the things. I think that's solid enough justification. Did 
to the Caribbean Sea! There we are. Got a little colony there. Let's recall you. Send this person to the middle of the ocean of St. Helena. And of course, here in the east, still pondering, do I make trade companies? It's an option. Um, do I keep my vassals? It's an option. Do I build up my gold? Bashkir and Hugo at war. Cyber has been basically devoured. I could probably. Ooh. We've got ivory. We've got base tax going up. I think I should fabricate a claim on you, buddy. Ah, oh, once this other cannon's complete. It's all I'll really need. And I got a settler. Got three. I should have a second one, a fourth one very soon. And otherwise, we're just going to start to build up our incomes. Sorry, Joe Laugh. Prepare to be Joel Punched. Ooh. Three percent more professionalism. Nice. So we've got cannon. There we are, two point boost. Solid! So all I really needed didn't need a, a huge advantage. Mm -hmm. Type of conquest, cyber. Oh, the basics. I might have to be instead of fabricating a claim on you, buddy. If you eat all of cyber. Took down the walls. Very nice. And once again, of course, one goal is, of course, clean borders. Um, military. After all, I really only need two forts active to manage this war. Self crisis. Boo. I need my salts. Someone else embraced the Renaissance? I would like to embrace the Renaissance. Alright, 10.2% has been swapped. So yeah, we just need, we need, oh, seven grand, apparently. Not exactly a cheap amount of money. But there we are, and I think we will take, we'll curtail the noble privileges. Um, yes. There's only one noble family that needs authority, and that's my noble family. There we are, 10% more taxes. There we go. Now with the advantage of cannon, I should have no problems wiping him out. And, as I mentioned, I had no problems wiping him out. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Yes! Now we can really explore. We now know the size of this, quote-unquote, Africa. It's a pretty big place, you may, you, may not, you may be surprised to learn. It's a pretty big place. Mm -hmm. 
Again, it boggles my brain that people would dare insult me. Like, seriously boggles my brain. Let's grab Jamaica. Borisken. I guess that's the Roman name for it. Don't ask. Here we are. Last stop on our fix the Western African border um, expedition. And there we are, buddy. Give me all your land and all your money, please, and thank you. There we are, got a little bit of aggressive expansion. Meh. Is what we say to that. Alright, 113, that's that's a good income. Looking at five-ish years. If I drop my corruption to zero, I will probably just take the... Ooh, actually... Actually, five grand. You know what? To base the currency a little, embrace the Renaissance. Look, there we are. Cheaper construction, cheaper development. of the base it, huh? Hmm. Well, it might be Erg. I have to go to war with. Hmm. You know, let's uh, let's build a spy network on you. Cause why not? The rich of China, give him claim on central. Blah blah blah. Make die like me. The emperor of China is weak. Little support for North and South. The ordinary Chinese are questioning his rule, and the, and the normally so loyal bureaucrats are debating whether Zan Jun the First has in fact lost the minute of heaven. Boglers the second in the industry, the oppression of Dai, and end the rule of the Ensigid dynasty. Eh, I'll have friends for now, I suppose. Ooh, our heir, Licinius, is industrious. Not bad. Not bad at all. But, why? Ah, that's why. It's like, why don't I have uh, my colony yet? Ah, uh, but we can really map out the world now. Next will be cheaper construction costs. 10% cheaper. Not, not bad. There we are. So, for the for the Senate and the people of Rome. The Imperial Senate may not wield as much political power as in the days of the ancient republic, when it still provided the citizens of the Empire a sense of representation that was simply have heard of in most feudal societies. Twenty percent cheaper stability costs, not bad. And without organized construction, ten percent cheaper. No, no, don't, don't, don't show me. Let's do a few more of those. Hmm. I'm inclined to absorb. A vassal. Let's absorb the Untred Chow, I think. It's going to cost me 708. But 
Well, that's okay. Oops. More land is always good land, and then I can always look to be like, "Hey, Bengal, you wanna you wanna get a little, a little bigger." Uh, being base tax for the cost of manpower. Yes, yes, please. Hmm. Bengal hasn't been branching out their claims much. Oh no, Bengal. Core province right there. Fascinating. Constantinople. Gem cutting masters in Constantinople have made a breakthrough in the diamond cutting. Diamond dust suspended in oil on their scapes. Thus, Roman artisans cut rare stones entirely new shapes and to much greater brilliance. Ooh. We have new shapes. Better optics. Price of gems up 25%. And Constantinople has the diamond district. Yeah, I think I should go to Worth of Vanga again soon, actually. Be ah, Bengal Separatists. That would be where those cores are coming from. You. What are you? Bush bash here. All right, I don't need them. It's these Bengali places. Oh no! A pretenders revolt in Subia. We've got uh, our new imperator, Licinius Modus. Those are followers of Gaston Slain. Gaston the. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to smash your face. Got a new queen. Good. Saban is our new glorious queen. Five, Tiberius. All right. I have to say though that um, our uh, our vassals, or not our vassals, our um, hmm, our our imperators. Oh, oh, princess. Oh, that's not us. That's them. Imperator Licinius. Yeah, our our leaders have been heavily aggressive. Very violent. Oh well. Oh. Apparently I missed a spot. Mm -hmm. There we are. No more rebel scum. Scythica and the Minerva Legio. See, yeah, these guys have been doing a pretty good job of things. Um, unifying their India holdings, which gives them good wealth. Uh, I believe they're second place now, yeah. Oh, the die are down to a third of what they started with. Thank you, free stability. Wu Yan. Ashikaga. Okay. Japan's unifying. Fire with two water of life. Oh! Wrinkles faded away. Eyesight's improved. Gout disappeared. And troubled minds finally found peace. Water sweeter than nectar, clearer than any cut diamond, and more well guarded than the crown jewels of any country. But it's now ours. The Fountain of Youth! Too much of the good stuff in all that. Un unforeseen consequences, eh? 
Kochamba. Water of Life. You know, the game. 50% cheaper construction, no unrest, more taxes, or more settlers, and 12 points. Kochamba. Kochamba. There it is. The Water of Life. We found the Fountain of Youth, everybody. But getting over there may prove a little tricksy. Anyhow, we'll, we'll find our way over there next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all soon for more.